Hello and welcome to my video, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video, I offer you a psalm to focus on and to enjoy, to bring peace and meditation into your Christian walk. I offer this video not to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation, to find your own calm and peace in God's word. Psalms are wonderful to meditate upon, to use them over and over to strengthen you as a Christian. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and to feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon your word. It is in your son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm that I want to look at today is Psalm number 29. And this psalm uses a lot of wonderful poetic techniques and is great to read aloud for meditative effect. For instance, read the first three lines. The poetic term for what is used here is Cesora, which is a break in the middle of the line. The effect when you say it is to pause, to take a breath. This can create a soothing calming of your mind. Ascribe to the Lord, sons of the mighty. Ascribe to the Lord, glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord, the glory to his name. There's also heavy use of parallelism here and throughout. Parallelism is when you use the same grammatical structure. Speaker, speakers often use parallelism to bring power to the speech they make of the people, by the people, for the people. I'm sure you've heard that or MLK's I have a dream speech. See how it is used in these lines about the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is on the waters. The glory of God thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Feel the power of those lines. Then couple that with the sound imagery, the glory like thunder the Lord's voice over the roaring waters, the voice of the Lord breaking cedars, even the cedars of Lebanon. In ancient Hebrew times and in the scriptures, the cedars of Lebanon were deeply religious wood. This aromatic, durable wood was highly desirable for building. David used it in building his palace. You can see that in 2 Samuel 5.11 or 1 Chronicles 17.1. And Solomon used it in construction of the temple and a palace for himself. And you can see that in 2 Chronicles 2, verses 3 through 8. And despite this durability, the Lord's very voice can break it. Then there are these images of youth here. Lebanon skipping like a calf. Serion, a wild young ox. Even these established religious places are made young and vibrant by the Lord. Even we can be made young and wild. Kadesh that's mentioned here was the sacred desert where the Jews wandered before finding the Holy Land and the power of the Lord continues to be shown. Maybe we can use the Psalm to assure us of God's strength, his might in our lives and know his voice is strong in us, in our world. Look at the final lines. Yes, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. How God is always the king, is always on the throne in power and will give this strength to us and finally bring us peace. What a great way to meditate upon this, knowing that there is a great Lord of great strength and that that strength will infuse us and finally bring us peace. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom and 
If you haven't, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page and you'll find other content such as our Sunday morning Bible studies and our Sunday morning worship services, which are both streamed live. And an additional service that is streamed starting Sunday nights at 6 p.m. where our minister Mark will offer an additional lesson. So until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.